Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the MG Comet, which is basically a Vueling Air EV. But before we reach this car, let me show you this awesome car perfume from Involve Your Senses. This is the Involve Origin Aurum. It has this very premium finishing. It looks quite nice in white. It's a timeless fragrance and is very refreshing. It has got ingredients from around the world. You know what? It's so easy to regulate, but it does not leak at all. You can click on the top right of the screen to get yours with a 10% discount using coupon code FASTBEAM. Now coming to the key of this car, it is actually a fidget spinner. How cool is that? Very Apple inspired key. This is to unlock the car, this is to lock the car and this is to open the boot of the vehicle. MG logo is placed here where the stickering is there of the car. But I love the key. They are really trying to attract the youth. Coming to the vehicle, I'm straight away going to be opening this frunk, I cannot call it. But there's some amount of stuff lying here, basically the battery, the battery management system, washer fluid and all that. It's very chintu mintu. There's no insulation here. It does not need it. And there it is shut. The design is a bit polarizing. It's very chintu mintu a car because the width is just 1.5 meters. The height is as much as the Creta and that's the reason why it looks so weird. These are the lights, LED units, of course, indicators placed here. That is the towing hook. I mean, the placement for the towing hook and it has a provision for a front camera, but there is no front camera. This seems to be like the DRL, but this continues all the way till the mirror where the indicator is also placed. Quite cool, right? Now, this is where the charging happens. So the charging port has been placed here at the front in the center, which is nice, which means you can access it from both the sides. And the wipers are really chintu minto, or rather this wiper is chintu minto. Look at the size of this wiper. But thankfully, MG has actually given it two wipers. They could have easily cut cost and given one wiper and it is actually a premium wiper in terms of the blade quality. So that's also something which is appreciable. The tire size is again Chintu Mintu 145 70 12. These are steel wheels with wheel caps. This tire size does not get alloys anywhere. I mean, nobody makes alloy wheels for such small tires. So obviously MG could not put alloy wheels, but they have a lot of personalization options. So you can make your car look funky, ugly and whatever you wish. Length is almost three meters. The wheelbase is almost two meters. So it's really very Chintu Mintu. And this is a three door car. It says electric here, chrome finishing right there. Request sensor on both the sides. Again, piano black finish to give this the floating roof appearance. This is an apple green color. Yeah, an apple green color. And <laughs> there is so much space right here. Headroom is actually quite nice. In order to access the rear seat, it's very easy. You just push it like this. It goes ahead and there are magazine holders here. Getting in and out is not difficult at all. Here I am. I'm just going to put it back. Yeah. If you notice, legroom and new room isn't bad at all. So that is pushed all the way behind. So minimum legroom is this one and maximum legroom is this one. Under thigh support is very, very poor. There's no under thigh support. This could be on my chin right now. Anyways, headroom is decent. Seat recline angle could be better. There's a handle to hold on to. You get proper seat belts as well, but no adjustable headrest at all in this car. This glass area is actually big enough, which means you don't feel claustrophobic in this car at all. Nice blue stitching here as well. And getting in and out is easy because there's a handle to hold on to here too. So here we are out. That was quite easy. Yeah? That didn't take much effort. And I can obviously recline the seat like that. Here is the wind number and the motor number. Let's just shut this. The door is like really long from the rear. The design again continues to be very polarizing. It has this continuous light treatment. This turns on when you turn on the parking lights. These are actually the brake lights and it says EV right here. Comet written here, internet inside because doesn't it look like a Wi-Fi box? <laughs> People call it a box. They call it a lot of things, but trust me, in search of gold, we lost a diamond. Now we've got rear parking sensors, just two parking sensors, one here and one there. There is a fog lamp right here. Fingers of truth will never hunt for the exhaust because this is a fully electric car. And there you can see some exposed bits for the wires. The battery is obviously placed in the wheelbase. There's a reverse parking camera. You actually press this to open the boot and there it opens. There is no boot actually, there's no space, zero space. Look at the space with the seats up. This is actually the towing hook, which is placed here. So this is, Velcro, it sticks wherever you want it to stick. This is the charging cable of the vehicle. And this is the puncture repair kit because it does not get a spare wheel and the warning triangle is placed right here. Now you can put the seats down like this, 50-50 split to increase the boot carrying capacity or have at least some boot. And now you can see there is decent amount of space. 
to carry stuff as well. Let's just shut this. High mounted stop lamp. I don't know what this is, but it is not the rear defogger. Dual tone treatment looks quite nice. Some chrome elements here and there. The exposed bits you can see right there. And the tires are like really very chin to into like ultra small tires on this car. From the side, you will actually not like it either because the design is something which probably will grow on you, but I doubt it will because it looks really very weird. In this green color, it looks like a e-rickshaw. I'm sorry to say that. So design elements are very awkward, but at least it is the opposite when you step inside because the interior is fantastic, like really well executed interior. Door pockets are really nice and big. In fact, you can easily keep a lot of bottles if you so wish. Very long, yeah? And the door itself is long. Nice material. There's some storage space here, but this is white. It gets really dirty. Speaker placement here. There are just two speakers, one here and one there. Chrome finishing right here. And you can actually slot the seatbelt into this mechanism just to make it easy. But once you do that, if you want to actually go behind, it becomes difficult. So you have to actually remove it. Now, one hand operation is difficult. So I'm just going to push the seat like that. This seat is all the way behind. It doesn't go any further. That is the brake pedal and the accelerator pedal. Some exposed bits right there. It gets tire pressure monitor. This is to reset it. This is the headlight leveler. These are the controls for the outside rear view mirror adjustment, which actually happens to be electric. This is the fantastic perfume from Involve Your Senses, which I can just keep right here. Before that, let me show you. This is also getting dirty very fast. So I'm just going to slot it right there to make the cabin smell really refreshing and nice. Now, the width is less, which means you're going to rub your shoulder with the co-passenger for sure. There's no glove box, but there's some storage space here. Nice material. Again, there's a cubby hole right there. Dashboard design is really very impressive. Let me shut the hazard lights. Hazard light button is placed here on the top. These are the controls for the lights. Center has a light placement and really premium mirror treatment here on the sun visor on both the sides. It also has this strap. It gets dual airbags. This is not auto dimming, of course. You have to manually dim it, but at least it's dimming. In terms of features, they have not cut corners at all. Let me actually turn off the lights. If you notice, this is Ulta. Yeah, you have to turn it that way to turn it off. Two screens, 10.25 inch, 10.25 inch. These are the AC controls here. In fact, there's a 12 volt charging socket placed right here. This is the mode selector. So it tells you if it's charging reverse neutral and drive. And there's an orange color which lights up. Again, very premium quality. These are the controls for the power windows. It is one touch down for both the windows, but the driver gets a one touch up, but the co-passenger does not get that. You get a manual handbrake here. Yes, it's a manual handbrake. Now, there are some ports here. There are two USB charging ports right there, and there are two regular hooks. So if you want to carry your subsidy, you can actually place it here. In fact, there is endless room here on the left side, which is quite nice. Steering gets this two-spoke treatment. It gets height adjust as well. Yeah, it has height adjust. It's a little stiff to operate. Meanwhile, AC vents are placed here. Air conditioning is actually a chiller. Let's straight away use the wipers. Oh my God, there is good amount of spray on offer. Wipers are really premium in terms of quality. Controls are very much iPod-like. These are actually the controls for the screen to browse through this multi-information display. These are the controls for the audio system and you can actually program this as you wish. So I've programmed it to get into the vehicle settings. The horn seems to be right on the inside. Now, this screen is showing the tire pressure monitor right now. It's saying check tire pressure because one of my tires were actually punctured. So I'm trying to reset it there. It is resetted. Here you get a lot of information trip information and all that. So I can browse through this. It tells you which mode you are in for region as well as the drive mode and then voltage and all that, which you really don't care about. Yeah, here's the drive mode actually. Here it will tell you when you apply brakes also. It tells you when the lights are on as well, when the indicators are on also. So that's really premium thing which has been done. Speedometer, what is the battery percentage, all that is given right here. Quality of the screen is nice. Here you can see lot of things I can browse through, like what is the driving mode, what is the energy recovery mode. Let me get out of that. It gets Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, both of which are actually wireless. And then I can actually move things around. So that's also very nice. Let's get into this menu. It gets connected car tech with 55 features and 100 voice commands as well. Lot of functions, device management, Geo Savan, iCall, MG weather and all that. So it is actually quite premium in that regard, but right now it's not connected. Let's listen to an audio right away, which means I'm going to increase the volume from here. Audio quality is very average. Okay, let's get into reverse. This is the reverse parking camera, quality of which is decent. It's not great, but then MG has never put good cameras in Indian cars at least. Let's get out of this. 
it has a very interesting way to start the vehicle to in order to turn off the vehicle all i have to do is there's no engine start or stop button all i need to do is press the lock button this is the button to change from eco normal and sport so you can browse the modes and if you keep it pressed you can actually change the region modes as well like i was telling you air conditioning is nice and effective but this a pillar is very thick it causes a blind spot for sure unfortunately you don't have a dedicated button to lock and unlock the doors unless and until you don't exit the car now the car is not going to get locked so here now i press the lock button there it has shut it says goodbye by the way let's unlock the car let me get inside and it does this graphic thing with the mg logo with some sound as well yeah how do you turn on the car you just tap the brake pedal twice and there it has started so that's again very neatly executed let's do one thing let's start driving right away all right we're all set to go which means unlocking the car as soon as i open the door it is going to show me the mg logo here no it's not doing that which means i have to double tag the brakes there mg logo on both the clusters this one is super slow it's like ultra slow it's taking its own sweet time so meanwhile i will just release the handbrake of the vehicle i will actually get into drive mode i can drive off and the screen will still be stuck there that is how slow it is come on to that time let's just clean the i was going to say something come on say 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 talk okay you want to talk to me come on talk be happy for every moment random motivational quotes come from here i've set this button for this particular mode selection so i'm going to get into driving assistant and i can actually change the drive mode i can also do it from below but i want to get into energy recovery and i'm going to make it heavy which is basically regen we are into drive left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator i'm launching in eco mode and oh. today's weather is hazy sunshine okay, 28 shut up uh, i didn't ask you we, we, oh, okay okay shut up uh, i was not in drive mode i don't know why i did not select anyways here we go So even in eco mode acceleration is quite brisk the top speed of this vehicle in eco mode is well let's try and find that out right away my right foot is glued to the floor now progress becomes really dull after 70 km per hour and that is about it 84 km per hour is what it does in eco mode i lift the throttle let's see how region happens heavy region is on so it is slowing down will it come to halt completely i don't know so i'm just going to come into the center lane and let's see how that happens so now region is becoming even more aggressive that's kind of nice i think the car is going to come to a halt yeah that's kind of cool so you can actually do one pedal driving in this vehicle 10 km per hour 9 you can hear the motor whine so there's that whine from the motor now it's come at 5 km per hour now it's just cruising very 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 slowly and now finally we are going to come to a halt i believe but yes it's a little slow once below 10 km per hour we have come to a halt that is beautiful one pedal driving i'm going to change the drive mode right now to normal and regen also to normal come on this doesn't work only the touch screen is really bad like i have to actually press it multiple times so this could be better executed here we are left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator and off we go acceleration feels slightly better definitely it feels better when i'm driving in normal mode when compared to eco mode i would apply the brakes and i'm going to take a u turn straight away turning radius is very low at 4.2 meters which means that you can easily take a turn there and steering actually centers which is quite nice and impressive i like that there is a corner ahead so we are going to try and aggressively take that car rolls all over the place oh my god there is so much body roll i thought it will topple but yeah that is the level of body roll it has and i'm going to get into full onto the throttle can we overtake an artiga horn is inside or outside i don't know only let's come into the center lane because that tree is going to scare us silly and we are going to do the tree test which other people like to call as the moose test which is a last moment swerve in front of the tree oh my god the roll is insane so right now in normal mode it does cross 100 km per hour 104 km per hour and there is a guy who is taking a turn in the center yeah thank you so much let's go so performance is better in normal mode of course but it gives you the best range in eco mode meanwhile since there are three drive modes and three modes for the region as well it gives us some options we are going to get into sport mode here we are into sports mode and trust me performance feels so much better now region is middle it's not very aggressive when we are in normal mode so i'm going to come into the light mode and oh my god suspension is not up to the job you can feel a lot of roll around the corners the real kind of steps out this is obviously a rear wheel drive vehicle and uh, it is light in terms of weight 815 kg is the weight of the car most people think that this is actually the wagon r ev because they look very similar and boxy i'm just kidding but it attracts a lot of attention a lot of people come around to see and ask what is this car badi choti hai they get attracted to it so in terms of aesthetic appeal 
even though some of us find it polarizing people do definitely like it over these joints on the road it does get jolted around a bit so it's not the smoothest in that regard the steering has no feel look at that there is no feel the tires are so small now even though the suspension is soft it crashes through bumps which is not nice like this you can feel that it does move around quite a bit so i am going to do the brake test right now so we are going to brake from around 80 km per hour here we are 80 km per hour full on the brakes horrible brakes horrible under emergency braking there are no rear discs i could feel it left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator and off we go this is launch in sports mode let's see where it goes so do not apply full brakes it has got abs i don't know why that's not working pretty nicely it says airbag right there by the way now the handling test is coming up right now oh my god does the abs even work or what so brakes are really very poor and uh, the steering is also very vague ride is not that good so they've given plenty of features to this car fantastic but in terms of what happened okay all of a sudden the music system turned on and here we go yeah come on just shut yourself up i don't know why it just randomly turned on so i was not having the confidence on you to push it hard around that corner but it's not meant for cornering of course not meant for highway driving but still impresses by reaching 100 km per hour quite briskly it doesn't really struggle as such and there is a lot of wind noise there's a lot of road noise all of these noises of course under heavy braking the car just steps out of line it just steps out of line so tires don't have any grip whatsoever the brakes don't have any feel either yeah very spongy brakes they could have offered rear disc of course so i'm a little struggling right now with this meter and cluster and everything because it's not the slickest to operate some button i pressed by mistake there the audio system turned on i was like worried i'm going through a corner very fast what is happening right now but the real usp of this car is of course in the city but before that we have to test the top speed of course right so it reaches 90 km per hour briskly when we are driving in sports mode but it depletes the battery very fast claim range is 2 and 30 km realistically speaking okay <laughs> because of the torque now a little bit the rear steps out of line but it doesn't really oversteer as such so like i was telling you 230 km is the claim range but realistically speaking you will get somewhere between 140 to 170 km on full charge because when this car is fully charged up it's showing around 196 km on the instrument cluster the problem is that you can feel it's always bouncy the suspension is soft which is good for low speeds but slightly higher speeds or bad bumps you can feel it like ahead if you come across bad roads here crashes through them and moves the car quite a lot so it's not stable at all at higher speeds although it is capable of doing a top speed of 106 km per hour it's best driven under 80 km per hour here i see a huge bump ahead and you can feel everything inside the cabin so it's not meant for high speeds because of the height and non aerodynamic body it looks like a box it's actually a refrigerator on wheels it's actually a tech fest on wheels because they've not worked on the dynamics at all they just focus completely on adding more features because you go through this you feel all of that so suspension not good and obviously the smaller tires don't really help at all plus the handling is also not that great because there's considerable body roll as well steering is very vague you don't know where you are actually going brakes are also poor so in terms of drive experience it's very lackluster which is kind of disappointing because this is a car which a lot of people are going to be driving having them cells now it has 17.3 kilowatt hour battery pack with 42 ps of power and 110 newton meters of torque which admittedly isn't much but this is a light car 815 kgs and that's the reason why the performance is actually very good it feels peppy it feels nice and we are going to be hitting the top speed there it is the top speed is 100 and 105 km per hour but it's very nervous under braking so you cannot apply heavy brakes at all and then if i take a corner aggressively Oh my god I don't know what was happening I did feel the rear step out a bit but since this is a car for solo drive now it should have driven way better because if you come across a corner like this <laughs> you feel very nervous here I'm going to get aggressively oh my god I felt airborne it's very top heavy a vehicle but then this is a car for city driving before that let's talk about the charging option there's just one which is a 3.3 kilowatt ac slow charger which you can do at your house with a 15 16 ampere socket it takes the battery from 10 to 80% in 5 hours or 0 to 100% in just 7 hours i'm saying just 7 hours because considering it's a very slow charger still charging times are actually quite fast you know why because the battery is so small 17.3 kilowatt hour is a very chintu mintu battery and they have just opted for simplicity here 
in terms of the overall mechanicals of this car because they are not very sophisticated like the suspension is not that great the handling is not that great even the tires are not that great there's no grip on offer and all that the main focus is on giving features and focusing this car on usability and ease of driving where it totally excels in fact this is a car which does exceptionally well in the city because it takes the footprint of maybe one and a half two motorcycles only making it very easy to drive easy to park because of its compact dimension and then you will never ever have any issue when you drive in the city even when you encounter traffic because you can actually come out of traffic here and there and then is it i mean that's when it starts making sense because this is not a highway car in fact mg says that don't take it on the highway it is purely a city car but will people pay more than 10 lakh rupees for a car which can only be used in the city it can be used on the highway because performance is decent enough for highway driving only thing is you can't make quick overtakes and then if you encounter bad bumps you can feel almost everything on the inside insulation levels are not that great there's some wind from the motor the tire noise is there wind noise is there noise comes from here as well because it's shaped like a refrigerator some noise also comes off the wind when you try to drive it above 60 km per hour but you can feel a lot of the bumps and it crashes through i think i broke something right now that is how badly calibrated the suspension is or how basic the suspension is or because the tires are so small now 12 inch wheels they just crash through almost everything and the city it makes light work of driving that's fantastic now most people said that the nano is cheap here yeah, this car is not cheap it might look a bit cheap like an e rickshaw but honestly the inside is fantastic it doesn't feel cheap in any way it feels quite premium and mg probably might be able to sell this car in decent numbers if the research is right and researchers always make mistakes because the sample size is so small so they are saying that 86% people drive under 30 km a day probably yes but it all depends and even though people don't drive much people want a car which is more capable and the tiago ev is priced between 9 to 13 lakh rupees is obviously a proper car with four five doors and decent range and more space because here if you want to get intimate with people there is very little room because of the less width so your shoulders are going to rub there pricing is going to play a key factor price around 10 11 12 lakhs on road it's still not going to be that easy to sell because indians don't accept three door cars at all no they don't that's the reason maruti suzuki showed the jimny in three door format at the 2020 auto expo and then decided no we'll get a four door because four five door version because nobody is going to buy the three door three door does not make much sense they did not sell the jimny for two three years the thar was making hey while the sun shone but they got a five door because people prefer a five door only anyways it's very easy and nimble to drive this car across such roads especially in the city and that's where it starts to make a lot of sense i hope this car sells because honestly it's a fantastic car it's a very unique car and it attracts a lot of attention people just keep turning around here and they're asking what car is this it's so cute it's so nice but then it's also a little polarizing but then you can forgive it because obviously it's a mono volume shape where the focus is on practicality if they do not have the height then headroom would be an issue and it has amazing amount of headroom four people can actually sit in comfortably as long as they have no luggage whatsoever okay i'm burning right now let's turn on the air conditioning a bit everything is such easy controls here in fact i can also reach here because the cabin is so narrow as such and i'm surprised that the air conditioning is such a chiller here it's amazing and now we are having the city test which is basically i need to go left which i can easily do because the size and the dimensions are so compact now you don't have to look behind to think that oh will i make it or not now they're having 60% localization in this car which is actually quite good this is a car which will ensure that you will never ever get a speeding fine in your life because you will never ever reach speeds which will <laughs> make you get a speeding fine that is and then it seems to be faster than that car at least so i can easily overtake it as well because it's electric now that instant torque it doesn't feel sluggish at all unless and until you hit the top speed of course so very nicely engineered electric motor here of course and uh, this electric motor is obviously running a lithium ion battery ip67 grade and all that the basics have been covered of course the thing is that the pricing is going to make a huge difference and then obviously there are a ton of personalization options as well which makes sure that every comet will look different and then mg's sales and service network is also expanding let's actually get into the right side and there is such a nimble driving car only thing is steering is vague but in the city it's quite manageable by the way it also gets a shareable digital key so it's high on tech for sure and i believe newer versions of this car could do even better maybe they should launch the cabriolet version which they just showcased because that looks so funky and attractive a cheap convertible but actually not practical because there'll be wind resistance which will affect the range and the performance of course chintu mintu electric motor here but still this car 
is a small car but packs a big punch in terms of quality features and performance as well i just wish the dynamics were better if you like this vlog make sure to give the thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel it's telling me 49 percent 98 kilometer range so it can do almost 190 kilometers on a full charge which is quite impressive and make sure you check out this awesome car perfume from involve your senses this is the involve origin aurum click here on the top right to get yours with a 10 percent discount using coupon code fazwing now that convenience you only get in this car bye bye